How's it going everybody? A Pillow here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I know I am. And welcome back to some more PS2 content. Uh, today we're doing a little bit of a PS2 commentary of this. Some fairly unedited video footage in the background. While I just uh, talk about uh, the PS2 burnout phase that I went through for four years. Because um, I never really got into that much detail about it. And I felt like I'll just, you know, make a quick... TF2 commentary video. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what kind of videos I want to make uh, on TF2. I'm going to be doing a variety of them. I've done an unboxing. I've now done a commentary. Uh, I've done like a weird montage thing. Uh, I might do a meme next or something. Who knows? Um, anyway, but that's the point. So, getting on to actually today's video, which is of course talking about the burnout and all that kind of stuff is obviously I'm talking about my past self with most of this. Um, so I started playing TF2 back in 2013. Uh, I only got the game so that I could get the add-ons for Gmod, but because it was free I also played a little bit of it and it was popping off at the time. Um, I played the game all the way up to the Meet Your Match update, putting over a thousand hours into the game between those two particular days. I played the Invasion update, I played the uh, Tough Break update, I played the End of the Line update. I was there when the box drop first came out and how it, the spy strategy changed to incorporate the box drop to the point where I still have it on my hotbar on all of my spy loadouts just in case. And that's why I love this new uh, coffin thorn that they've got. Because it gives me the similar vibe where you can just hide in a corner as the spy and just, you know, pop back up. Take a couple of seconds, pop up, and you might get stabbed from it. And alternative to using your um, owl, uh, watch, you know? Like, realistically, I would love the idea that there is a. I. No, it would, we'll get on to custom weapons later, okay? We're not going to get on to that. Um, this isn't about that, but this is for a different, that's for a different video. Um, anyway, talking about the burnout phase, so what happened is I'd been playing TF2 for a long time and I had gotten to a point where I was... The Meet Your Match update came out, I played it a little bit and I felt like they were trying to break the game. They were trying to break the core foundation of the game to what I knew it had, which was a silly, fun, casual game where you'd load up, you'd pick a random map, and you'd go into it. The idea that you would then have people voting on maps and stuff like that, I'll be honest, it's bad. Yeah, I've always found it to be bad because you always end up playing the same map, which makes people incredibly good at those maps. But, if they got stuck on something like Junction, for example, I love Junction. Junction's a fabulous attack defender. They're wrong. The last point is hell on earth for attackers. But, it is also so cool if you've managed to get that uber push up the stairs, destroy the four sentries that are there, and absolutely blitz the point. It's the coolest you can ever do. Okay? Now, naturally, as a spy, uh, as like a player of PS2, uh, I felt like they were trying to rock the core, which it didn't feel right by me. So I kind of, I didn't stop playing PS2, I just kind of backed off a little bit. I took a month break, came back to it, I hope they had fixed a few things. They hadn't really. Um, the competitive scene is still a mess to this day. Uh, to the point where you might as well just go by Highlanders or something like that, rather than the six, uh, Sixers, um, or at least the competitive Sixers in the competitive TF2 leagues anyway. Um, obviously, custom Sixers is fine, yeah. but, you know, actual Sixers, competitive mode on TF2, I'm pretty sure is as dead as a doornail as it can be. Um, as for casual side of the game. The casual side of the game is still alive. Uh, obviously, since I've taken a break, the casual base has in fact gotten a lot better at the game, which, I'll be honest, 
kind of annoying as a spy mate because that means they know how to spy check and any idea that I come up with currently seems to be not new at all. It's probably like four years old, so therefore I'm just looking like an idiot. Uh, for some weird reason I've been face stabbed like three times as well as a spy, so I don't know what the hell's going on with that. Flame part of like I I suppose the, like the pyro not pyro update, jungle inferno update. That was meant to fix the pyro flame particles, but I swear I get hit by random flame particles more often now than I ever have done. Like beforehand. Like you could there was an art to skirt in the old flame particles. Like you knew that they bounced off surfaces, so you knew that if a flame particle bounce uh, could hit close to in front of you, you crouch, you wouldn't get hit by it. And you do that while invisible. Now it's just, yeah, he turned around and he got me. And I'm on fire. And now he's going to burn me to death. Because even though I should have a faster running speed than him, he's still going to catch me and burn me alive. Because he has AOE damage, where I don't. Before I can even unviz to shoot at him with my pistol. But yeah, that, that just happened. Um, as for, yeah, but, and that kind of stuff, it, going back to the game is obviously, uh, open my eyes to how difficult it's going to be to be able to actually improve my skill level, but I am going to, there's, no, there's nothing wrong with me trying to improve my skill level in the game, but I don't want to get into a stage where I'm rage gaming, uh, pretty much rage gaming, it, a after effect of something like burnout where you take a break from a game lose a couple of skills that you had um, and then you come back to a game and you feel like you should be as good as you used to be and you're just not and then when you die a lot or something like that you, you think you should be better you get angry and playing games angry is just not a good look especially if you're in a casual game not even competitive like if you're being paid competitively to get angry uh, well, to play the game and you're doing bad kind of understand it like you're professional but if you're just me playing casual tf2 there's no reason for me to get angry at any video game i'm not professional in any game i'm the scrubbiest of scrub lords in most games i mean right now i'm running around using the uh electro sapper the ambassador and the your eternal reward and the dead ringer unless i've changed software by now i don't think i have i might have i can't remember what i'm running now uh, but yeah but these kinds of things they just exist you know i also feel like i'm super unlucky in the game now but still so weird but yeah but the burnout phase was real and i'm glad that i did Burnout. So I feel like if I just carried on making or playing TF2 every single day, I would have probably been like way worse as a like player. Because I'd just been well, no, I'd have been way better as a player, but I still would have been the same person I was six years ago when I was playing the game, and it's just you know I have, I wouldn't have met the people I met, I wouldn't have played the games I played, you know. And I don't regret it by any means, I mean the burnout from being so. Um, I wish I played a little bit more of it so that I at least kept in the loop of tf 2 But it didn't make any difference to me, so it's alright. Um, as I continue on playing tf 2 I am obviously going to make more videos and stuff like that. By the way, in case you are wondering, this is not the video that I mentioned in the post that said that I was halfway from making it. This is a little bit more of a rough together post that I made because the other one is still not ready and this was a lot easier to make, just a quick commentary. Because I'm still not quite sure what these TF2 Tuesdays are going to be, whether or not they're going to be a meme, whether or not they're going to be highly edited. I like the idea of a highly edited video once a week, but at the same time, maybe it might be a case where it's one highly edited video once a month with a bunch of commentaries the rest of the time or something like that 
Um, I don't mind either way. Obviously, I work for a living, so I can't constantly be doing stuff. Uh, I have, in fact, fixed or mostly fixed the van that I mentioned in the uh, post as well. Uh, yeah, mostly as well, which is good. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like on the video. And if I say the word subscribe, I've heard that the magical subscribe button does in fact light up if you're not subscribed, then uh, go tap that. If I hit 250 subscribers, I will be doing a cooking video. Uh, I haven't actually decided what I'm cooking yet. It could be a hot noodle uh, or a piece of toast. Maybe the heavy sandwich, or maybe the banana. Could make the deluxe bar. Could make a bunch of TF2 stuff, I guess. Or I could make some other various stuff. I might do a poll or something when I actually get to it. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Leave a like and all that lot. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye.